Soft Comply Risk Manager Plus on Jira Cloud is the most comprehensive app that supports a wide range of risk management methods. In this video, we will go through the main steps for creating a risk model. Risk model is the central element of risk management. It is the basis on which your risks are assessed. Design your risk model by selecting which type of model you need, defining the number of characteristics and levels, and deciding if you need to assess the risks once only or during multiple phases. Click on the Apps menu, then Risk Manager Plus. The Risk Models Overview page shows a list of ready-made templates, the type of model used, and number of characteristics. To start changing a template, simply click on the name, and you will be guided through the setup. You can also create your own risk model. Click on the Create a New Risk Model button. First, select the type of model. There are three different options, either two- or three-dimensional risk matrices, or a score-based approach, multiplying different values of your risk characteristics, otherwise known as risk prioritization number. Next, you can define the number of times you assess and reassess your risks. For example, after having reduced the risk impact once, you may want to reassess the residual risk class. You can build further iterations into your risk assessment, like a target risk iteration, to have an acceptable risk score for each risk. Next steps are to define the characteristics to be used to analyze your risk and the respective risk classes. Add a name for each of the characteristics your risk model will use. Apply a name and a description also for the levels of the characteristics. You can easily change the order of levels, and you can add or remove levels for each risk characteristic. Next, you can design how many risk classes you will need and customize the names, colors, and add descriptions. You can also easily add or remove the risk classes as needed. After this step, you can map the relevant risk classes to match the characteristic levels. Simply click on the matrix and select the applicable risk class. The last step is to assign a name for your risk model and review if everything is designed as you want it to. Click Finish, and the risk model will be saved as your template. Now your risk model is ready to be used by everyone who is managing risks in your organization. Please, check out our other tutorial videos on how to set up your risk table and object registers, and how to start managing your risks in a project.